Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and this is Benji. And today we have yoga for cramps and PMS. For this session, you might wanna grab a little blanket. If you have a pillow, you can grab it from your bed or from your couch. Hop into something extra comfy today and let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. So come on down to the ground. You can sit on your blanket or your pillow and you're gonna bend the knees, bring your feet right out in front, grounded on the earth. And we're gonna start with one of my all-time faves. You're just gonna allow your elbows to rest, kind of hook on your knees, clasp one wrist, and take a deep breath in. Open your heart, lift the corners of your mouth just slightly, and then exhale, round forward, chin to chest. Close your eyes here, and slowly begin to notice your breath. So today's practice is chill, definitely designed to support you and just help you feel a little held and hopefully good <laughs> by the end of this session. Whether you are experiencing a lot of pain or a little or just needed some TLC today, we gotcha, I gotcha, Benji has your back as well. Let's bring some healing vibes into the room or wherever you are by taking a big conscious breath in through the nose and following Benji's lead. Not, not sure if my mic picked up on that, but a big exhale out through the nose or mouth. And again, a big conscious inhale in through the nose, feeling that nice passive stretch in the neck and relaxing your shoulders as you breathe out. And one more time, this big conscious breath, signaling our self-healing powers, inviting both the mind and the body back to a state of ease, uh, equanimity. All right, take one more inhale in here. And use your exhale to bat the eyelashes open and gently lift your head. And then you can stay seated on your blanket or pillow. Keep the feet where they are. And you're just gonna walk your hands back. Fingertips turned in to start. Fingertips turned in towards your body. And then inhale, lift your chest up, open through the front body. Think upward facing dog or cobra pose here. And then exhale to release, turn the fingertips out. We will repeat this time, fingertips turning towards the back. Lift your chest, open your heart. Mm, breathe in and breathe out awesome from here go ahead and walk it forward now we're going to open the knees wide soles of the feet come together for a cobbler's pose baddha konasana so allow your belly to be soft here allow whatever you have going on here to just soften so a lot of times in yoga i'll cue uh, inner support system this connection to the core uddiyana bandha today none of that Breathing softly, sweetly into the belly, letting it be soft and, and letting it go, just letting it be natural. So once you find that soft belly, you can grab the ankles, sit up nice and tall once again, and we're just gonna tick tock the ears over the shoulders, lefty over left shoulder, righty over right shoulder, back and forth. Soft belly. Continue to deepen your breath here. And then bring the head over the heart, the heart over the pelvis. 
Take a deep breath in, breathe into your belly. Find that big balloon breath here. And then exhale, bend the elbows left to right and send your heart forward. No need to push or force here, just let it be soft. We're creating a gentle compression in the internal organs. We're not trying to like really like win a medal <laughs> in flexibility. So massaging the internal organs. Nice and easy, allowing the weight of the head to fall over once again. Breathe long, smooth breaths in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Soothing the nervous system, opening up through the hips. Awesome work and slowly tuck your chin to your chest, roll up through the spine, take a deep breath in, lift the corners of the mouth just slightly. Find just a little sense of grace, a little lift in the sternum and the heart here. Use your next exhale to relax your shoulders down. Maybe you sigh it out if you feel, feel like it a little. <sighs> Good. Now keep your left heel snuggling up in towards your body and send your right leg out long. Now here's an option. You can grab a second pillow here or you can take the pillow that you have and we're gonna bring it to the top of the right thigh. Then square your hips so you're facing your right toes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold forward. You can grab your shin, your pant leg, your ankle, or maybe all the way over to clasp the arch of the foot or the toes. As you're ready, experiment with softening the skin of the face and rounding your head over, letting the weight of the head go. Three to five deep breaths here. As you breathe in, think about sending that nice expansive breath to the low back, whatever that means to you. See if you can feel your belly expand, the low back. And then exhale, see if you can relax your shoulders down away from your ears a little more. Soften your jaw. Let the hips get heavy and slowly tuck your chin and roll it up. Nice, slow, yummy transitions here today. So take your time. So you're gonna bring your right foot in, give your pillow a hug. Why not? And then let's take it to the other side. Get those hugs wherever you can, right? I always say in yoga, like embrace yourself, feel your own hug. It like signals the brain, I swear. And makes a difference in your practice sometimes. Take it or leave it, here we go on the other side. You wanna square your hips so you're facing your left foot. Take a big breath in, find a little bit of energy to reach up, 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 lengthen through the side body, and then think up and over as you keep that soft belly and find this nice restorative stretch on the other side. You can bend this bottom leg, this left knee, as much as you like here. And when you're ready, reside in the breath. So find your shape and then return to the breath. Three to five full deep cycles in and out, in and out, in and out. Notice where you might be clenching or holding here. See if you can use your exhale to soften, soften those spots. And use your inhale to create more space. Loving awareness in the low back, the belly, shoulders. Great, get heavy in the hips. As you're ready, tuck the chin, roll it back up, soft fingers. Nice, easy, soft, yummy transitions here. Excellent. Then we'll take the pillow, we're gonna bring it just to the side for now. 
We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together one more time. Soften the bowl of the pelvis, open up through the groin, lift up through your heart, deep breath in. Again, exhale, heart comes forward. We bend the elbows left to right. Relax the weight of the head over. Maybe this time you take your thumbs to the arches of the feet and we do a little foot massage. A little self-care goes a long way in the self-love bucket. So you'd be surprised. Give yourself a little foot massage here, especially if you've never done it before. See what happens. Pressing your thumbprint into the arch of the foot. Inhaling lots of love in. Exhaling lots of love out. Cool. Let's slowly roll up. We'll cross one ankle over the other and we're gonna roll through to all fours. Feel free to pad the knees if you like. Knees underneath the hip points, wrists underneath the shoulders to start and then walk them a little wider for today. Great, index fingers are pointing forward. We're spreading the fingertips evenly. Keep this soft and easy, gentle. Inhale, drop your belly, open the chest. Tailbone goes up towards the sky. You can even wag your tail a little here just to get a little movement. Oh, decompression. And then exhale, round through. Tailbone dips down. Heart lifts up, chin to chest. All right, now soften your gaze here or close your eyes. You got it. Listen to the sound of my voice. Let it guide you. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the chest forward, claw through the fingertips. Exhale, chin to chest, eyes closed or gaze soft. Navel draws up, crown of the head dials down. We press into the tops of the feet and the hands. Inhale, smooth and steady with your breath. Drop the belly, open the chest. Heart shines forward. Exhale, round through, chin to chest. Really claw through the fingertips on this one. Good, inhale, come back to a nice neutral spine. Bring the big toes to touch. Walk your knees out as wide as your yoga mat. Now repeat, inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, move through cat, cat pose first, and then bum back towards the heels, child's pose. Let your forehead rest. Option here to grab your pillow, recruit your pillow. Snuggle it way up in there <laughs> and then allow your sweet belly and your front body to melt over the pillow. Same theme here, allow the weight of the head to relax down as you breathe, full expansive breaths in through the nose and use the exhale to soften and relax out through the nose and mouth. Three to five breaths here, you got it. Soften the jaw, relax your tongue in the base of the mouth. Unfurl your brow and listen to the sound of your breath. Take one more cycle. Pay attention to the moment between the inhale and the exhale on this one. See what happens. Press in the tops of the feet gently, lovingly. Rise back up. Rise back up. You're going to take your pillow out in front. Okay, and we're gonna come to all fours. Walk the knees up, up, up. Benji's chilling. <laughs> you're gonna swing the legs to one side and then we're going to take the legs over the pillow. You're gonna bring the pillow right underneath the backs of the legs as you come to lie down. Hey, sweet boy, can you come? Here, buddy. Come over here. Come here, come on. Good boy. And then we'll lie back down. <laughs> so we're coming onto our backs. You're gonna create a little bolster with your pillow. 
to go underneath your knees. And if you want to use your blanket as a pillow here or as a cover up or neck support, you can. So take a second to get nice and settled in here. And then bring your left hand when you're ready right to the belly and your right hand on top of the left hand. Let your feet be relaxed, ankles relaxed. Inhale, lots of love in. Imagine the yoga mat rising up to meet your back body here so you feel supported, okay? And exhale, relax everything, the weight of your body into the mat so they're kind of meeting together. And even if you don't feel supported actually in this moment, maybe you feel a little um, crazy or, you know, whatever's going on, be, choose to be open to that idea of being supported in this moment by your yoga mat, by your practice, by me, by Benji, by all of the people who are practicing this with you, actually, all around the world. All right, and as you get comfortable here with your hands on your belly, your center, this point, this place of deep listening, the hara, you're gonna close your eyes, let your breath just breathe normal kind of natural breath in and out. And we're gonna take the hands in a slow clockwise circle. Nice and slow. And once you find a little pace here, a little rhythm, start to deepen the breath gently again. And then don't decide where it ends. Let your breath and this movement kind of work together. And any feelings that come up, uh, allow them. And if no feelings come up, that's okay too. Soothing. Again, recruiting our healing body to do its thing. The body is so powerful. Sometimes we just need to take some proper conscious time to be with it, work with it, care for ourselves. All right, come back to stillness, relax the arms, release the right arm gently at your side, palm face up. Then slowly release the left arm gently at your side, side palm face up. Nice and easy, begin to rock ear to ear, massaging the base of the head, top of the neck. Let any stress or tension go. Bring your head back to center stillness when you're ready and start at the soles of the feet and you're gonna just take a second to scan the body and as you do this, see if you can relax more. Release any places that might feel tight. And last but not least, blanket yourself in this just beautiful loving awareness or it could just be the idea of loving awareness, this acceptance and love for oneself in all circumstances, even <laughs> times in which we feel cramped or in pain. Scan the body, work your way all the way up to the crown of your head. Take one more inhale in here. And as you exhale, let everything go, find stillness. Give yourself permission here to do absolutely nothing just allow the magic of our yoga practice to do its thing. Let, let the nutrients of this time you carved out for yourself seep in, soak in. Trust your body. Learn to trust your struggle. Give thanks for showing up here to find what feels good.
Gently bring the hands to the hip creases. Or you can place them anywhere that feels good if you're feeling particularly cramped or in pain today. All right, and on your next inhale, slowly bring the palms together, thumbs up to third eye. Exhale here. And we'll seal the deal, close today's practice by taking a deep breath in. Exhale and whisper, namaste.